All right, what will we find in the maintenance shed? Why are they showing this stupid thing? <laughs> the thing you need once ever for the story. Spin! Some new enemies, flying ant swarm. Haha, <laughs> 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 she uppercut the ants. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> it fell, that's great. Flying ants. Who the fuck is this idiot? Disciple Butcher. Come back, asshole. Let me save quickly. There we go. Oh, I made it in the arena. Probably gotta kill a bunch of people now. Probably a final showdown. Do 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 do. Red alert. Red alert. All employees, please proceed to the well, elevator. <laughs> I'll be damned. You know what that sound means? Get your ass down to Cola Cars. The main event is about to begin. Oh, yeah? Hold on a second. It's auto saving? All right, watch this. No, I can't shoot them. Oh, that would have been great if I could cheat. Shoot them through the hole. You got me wired up yet, Gage? Yeah, boy. Then we'll let you, you shoot them. All right, I'm on it. Uh, now where <laughs> is that a vault suit? You gotta be kidding. Here's a quick a show. Huh. Thanks to the think you're hot shit getting this far. I was trying to reload and I skipped all his dialogue. All right, Gage. Let him through. Something tells me I'm really gonna enjoy this. Look at this stupid bulletproof glass here. Couldn't even see it. Almost time. After a run like that, this ought to be the best slaughter yet. Remember, longest survival time against Coulter still. All right, listen the hell up. We'll make it out of this alive. Minute. If I need a cop on the wall, I'll make it quick. Huh? The dead should be handled more carefully than this. You got a death wish or something? Who is this? I'm the guy that's gonna get you out of this alive. So listen up. All right. All right. I'm listening. My kind of guy. Uh. Look. Oh, there you go. You made it this far. You obviously got skill. But this fight coming up is rigged. You get me? Over Boss Coulter. His power armor's set up to draw energy from the electric grid in the arena. Hmm. Damn thing's invincible. You name it, someone's tried it. Miniguns, grenades, not a scratch. You get what I'm saying? Huh. 
So how do I beat him? You want to win? I stashed a weapon in the lockers. Get it. A hidden weapon in one of the lockers. The lead pipe? That's what he's talking about? This combat knife? Oh, this is it. What is this? The Thirst Zapper. Perfect. A squirt gun mod. It's gonna put water on him and electrocute him. Wow. No way. That's awesome. Wow. He's gonna get completely screwed by a water gun. Damn, there's so many items in here. out too steal their fusion core for no reason Is this still gonna need the gun? A squirt gun? That ought to help. The fuck? Yeah, yeah, I know what it looks like. You're just going to have to trust me. It's gonna electrocute him. <sighs> well, I've always wanted one of these. <laughs> Would have made a great toy for Sean. Oh, great. You're a lucky day. Congratulations. Now we can get on with it. Once the water hits Colter's electrically charged power armor, the circuits are gonna short out. It'll kill his defenses, but you only have so much time to do some damage before they recharge. You take him out, I promise you, it'll be worth every minute spent in this gauntlet. Okay, so that's the plan. Consider it done. That's what I like to hear. All right, it's time. I'll open the door. See you on the other side. Time to get this fucker all wet. I'll save before we go in, just in case. All right! All right! Fucking this Mad Max. Goes. Are you ready for blood? Oh, we're a bunch of idiots. At the back! Would you open this goddamn door? And you are you ready to die? Ooh, there's someone in here. Let's do this.
Oh, gotta go back to the water gun. Time to heal. Alright, he's almost dead. Wow, I gotta do it again. Fuck this. <laughs> Boom. Gage. Are you sure, Gage? You better know what the hell you're doing. Nisha. Busy. This used to be bumper cars. What did I tell you? Work like a charm. Huh. So you really wanted the overboss dead? Dead. Out of the way. What's the difference? Either way, good riddance. The plan was a success. Nice. <laughs> Thanks to you. <laughs> Not a bad plan. And what do you know? It worked. I get that you have no idea what's going on. Curie like that. <laughs> you real fast. But you need to listen. Taking out Colder wasn't just a last minute decision. It was something a few of us here have been working on for a while. Now that he's actually gone, we've got ourselves a vacancy in the Overboss department. And guess what? You just got the job. All I'm asking is that you trust me on this and give it a shot. I swear, it'll be worth it. All right. Let's just say you've got my attention. Good. And listen up, because I've got a lot to say. There are three raider gangs that run the show at Nuka World. Hmm. The disciples, the operators, <clears throat> and the pack. And yeah. If the names didn't give it away, these ain't your typical raiders. <laughs> these morons don't exactly play nice with each other. Thanks to Coulter, this place is a powder keg just waiting to blow sky high. One wrong move, and we're going to have a bloodbath on our hands. I think you have what it takes to turn things around and keep these gangs from tearing each other apart. Sounds like fun. 
Count me in. Yeah! That's the spirit. <clears throat> now, I'm sure you got a lot of questions, but this ain't the place. Meet me at the Overbosses, your new quarters. The restaurant on top of good old Fizz Top Mountain. We can talk there. Just let me get that door for you. So our, our headquarters are going to be, or our, our room is going to be at the top of Fizz Top Mountain. That's pretty cool. The restaurant they mentioned on the monorail. <clears throat> Taken for a ride. <clears throat> Almost leveled up. Close. And an achievement. Boom. Taken for a ride. 10 gamer points. Don't fuck with the arena, idiots. Gage. <laughs> Alright, come on, Kiri. I guess we finally get to uh, investigate. Look around for ourselves. <laughs> All the people left. A chem box. <clears throat> Anything upstairs? Where they all were. Wonder glue. Nice portraits, look. <laughs> Empty willow bud vase. Empty vase. What the hell? An operator training dummy. What the fuck? Bulletproof, too. Well, that's weird. Any good refreshments? Not really. Bunch of wine. A camera. Nothing in the cash register. Take takes us to Nuka World. A park map pamphlet. Look. <laughs> I'll take it. Maybe it'll help later. Cola Cars Terminal. Safety inspection results. Closed on Mondays and Tuesdays. Seven bottle caps. Nine bottle caps. Anything of interest over here? Not really. Nope. Okay. Out to Nuka World. Finally, we made it. To the park. We can wander around and see what we got. <clears throat> Ooh. Welcome to Nuka World. Yeah. Land of soda. Terrible for your body. <laughs> Reminds me of Soda Popinski from uh, Punch Out. Who was actually supposed to, I think he was supposed to be like Drinky McDrinkerson or something like that. He was supposed to be an alcoholic. But then they changed his name to Soda Popinski because they were afraid that, that kids would be like abhorred if it was uh, alcohol. Probably no one has any idea what I'm talking about, so I don't even know why I'm bothering. But anyway, uh, hmm. Mmm, Porta Diner. I'm sure it's nice and fresh. What's this over here? Anyone here? Looks like some people live here, but they're not here right now. Uh, it used to be like a diner or something. Operators. That's one of the gangs, the operators. Oh, yeah. You're a real goddamn saint. 
Who the hell's he talking to? There's no one else here. Uh. Nuka Cane tickets and tokens. There's apparently an arcade around here. Sometimes you gotta ask yourself. How high were they when they built this place? You gotta ask yourself, what the fuck happened to your face? You are hideous. Good lord. These appear worthless. Surely we can leave them behind. I grabbed all these tickets. I don't know if I can use them at the arcade or not. The, operator lane. the parlor. The parlor. This guy's just sitting here shooting the fucking thing. Look. Shooting the... Oh, God. Shooting the statues. Target practice. The Brad Burton's office. You need a key to enter here. Well, I don't have a key. Guess I'm not doing that. This is where I, was, I came from. Yep. Hmm. They're gonna head on in, over boss. They let me go in? Huh. Let's see what's in the parlor. Sorry, Max. All anyone's turned up so far is that he's got that pit boy on his arm. So, our new over boss is a vault dweller. What the? I guess it's their symbol? Ugh, a bleeding heart. Okay. Oh my god, look at her face! What the fuck? It's all, like, sucked into one area. I think it's probably the leader right there. The operators. Found their bedroom. I found the kitchen. <laughs> like, wow, he just ran into their building and just started running around all the rooms before he even talked to the leader. I don't even... Com-X? That sounds new. Com-X. I don't remember that from the game. No first aid. What is this music? You looking for the boss? Lizzie Wyatt. That'd be Max. Since she's unique, it probably means she's gonna have quests for me later. She's making cams. Fire an option. Christ, might be the only option. Lizzie Wyatt's terminal unlock. I should save before I unlock it. Oh my god, this music. Lay <laughs> only one one letter correct. Got it. Gang. Different persuasion formula. Let's go to test 10. We have our results. Caravans know, marks, markets know, but settlements, it would appear, are what this formula was made for. Maybe it's the exhaustion brought on by manual labor, the bad water, but something about the environment, Annette's wretched environment, appears to favor the gas. I decided I'd track my way back to the test subject 9's little dirt pit to see what I could get to happen when I deployed the gas. Before I knew it, I had the feeling that their winter stores can go whatever caps they had and ultimately convincing them their Brahmin style was better in my hands. Huh. They apparently, she created some kind of gas that fools people into giving them all their money. It basically convinces them to do whatever you say. Huh. What kinds of crafting stuff in here? Hmm. Our new boss. You're going to want to talk to Mags. 
So she's the leader, huh? Alright. Well, let's save before I make any critical plot choices and let's talk to her.